Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, technology and entertainment clients showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. And I'm delighted to say I'm with Care from Gates Air. A lot of buzz about the show this year. Are you excited to be here? Absolutely. I mean, we are seeing a lot of uh, trends on the digital radio rollout in a lot of different countries. Some countries are going through a second phase of uh, the digital rollout, especially DAB. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the increasing trend in the in de uh, deployment and, uh, you know, refreshing of the DAB transmitters uh, across Europe. Okay. And what are you doing to meet those trends? So we've uh, come out with a, a new uh, a refreshed product for DAB uh, with increased uh, power efficiency. So that helps our customers reduce their electricity bill, uh, in, in, including uh, power density, so make it more compact with the same amount of high power, yeah. and reducing cost basically on the footprint as well as on the metal. So we've added a number of uh, different um, uh, enhancements to our DAB uh, product to be ready for this uh, refresh cycle that's coming up and new deployments that are coming up. So quicker, easier, and cheaper, essentially. Absolutely, absolutely. That's that's the mantra, isn't it? It is. Yeah. You've been around for a long, long time. Not you personally, yeah. but Gates Air, yeah. more than 100 years. Tell us a little bit about the company itself. So the company, as, as you mentioned, is over 100 years old. Uh, it was acquired by Harris Corporation in 1960s. You know, we are over-the-air radio, uh, over-the-air television, uh, and uh, our transport distribution product called Interplex. Uh, and then we've been, uh, you know, with, uh, we've been owned by a private equity group uh, since 2012 uh, that exited the business in 2022, and we are, you know, now part of the Thomson Broadcast, uh, you know, umbrella of companies. But we we operate independently. Uh, we our engineering team is completely independent to them. You know, they act more as a system in integrator for us. You know, for larger projects in Africa and other countries where they're foreign, for, you know, the government financing. Uh, so it helps both sides, you know, they help sell our equipment and they they get the overall system integration project. Yeah, a great, a great partnership. Yeah. And I'm guessing over all those years, things have changed so much. Right. Technology has advanced so much, hasn't it? Yep, it has, it has, especially on the TV side and the radio side. A lot more software driven functionalities have come in. Yeah. Uh, security uh, has, has, has taken a central role of the television transmitters as well as radio transmitters because everything is software driven now. Yeah. You know, you still have your power amplifiers, you know, to provide the actual signal, but a lot of the control software management software is all very high tech, all web based, and therefore that is good and it's also not good because that opens up for a lot of, uh, you know, attacks. So security has taken a very central role over the last few years. And then as the operational cost, you know, need to reduce operational cost, there is a lot of emphasis on machine learning and predicting failures before they actually happen. Yeah. So a lot of our new products now have that capability in there with the AI and machine learning to be able to tell our customers if a certain component or a fan or a filter needs to be replaced before the actual system, uh, you know, system dies. And tell me, a lot of footfall on the stand and, and what are people actually saying this year to you? Yeah, they are very excited with our new line of products. You know, uh, we've had very good meetings already, it's day one. Uh, on especially on our DAB side, but we are also showcasing our on the television side, showcasing the 5G broadcast capability with our TV transmitters, and on our uh, transport uh, side, we are showcasing new products for Interplex uh, that allows the radio and TV signals of media transport across public internet securely and reliably. What do you think the next five, maybe ten years will look like? I mean, so I would say it's hard to predict. Uh, but on the television side, uh, there will be a convergence, I would say, of uh, digital standards between, between five and ten years. Maybe it will be 5G, uh, maybe it will be, you know, continue of the DVB-T, T2, but it looks like more and more convergence of the waveform with 5G, I, we expect that. And on the radio side, I expect uh, DAB to continue expansion, you know, uh, across the world. We are seeing that more and more now trials are happening in Middle East where there's only FM and countries are talking about now shutting off FM because DAB provides more efficiency, a lot more content, more, more ways to monetize you know, the, uh, the actual frequencies. Yeah. Well, look, we'll watch with interest. Yes. 
Thank you so much for your time today. It's been great to chat to you and good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you, Joe.